I am in Mark Rover's Build a Rocket game. I am so excited. I have finally made it to Chocoland. So basically, when you get through the Battle of the Chocolate Bars, you don't shoot the chocolate bars. I didn't understand how to get around them. Basically, what it is, is they're like twirling um, blades and you have to go up and around. You just have to avoid them. Like, they twirl around like this. And you just have to go underneath as they're twirling around. Anyway, so there's that. Sort of like an obstacle, like an obby or whatever. But I'm so happy I finally made it to Choco Land. Finally, and I have reached rank 5 in so doing. Okay, cardboard basic. I already have that. So let's see what kind of axe that I'm going to need. So this one is 5,000 medium large Mars rocks. Well, I'm not on Mars. I already have that. Let me just go out here and see. Like, you can go over here and you can buy these other stuff. I'm sure these cost Robux, and I'm not really wanting to spend Robux. Right now, I don't have very much on my account, so. Anyways, let's go see how the Bronze Basic does with the Choco Land stones or gems or whatever you want to call them. So, I have the Bronze Basic. That I used pretty well. It does pretty well on Mars, at least. Yeah, that's not gonna... It's not doing anything. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a more powerful axe. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so for Choco Land, I'm going to need the gold basic. So you just go to these arrows here, scroll down, and all the different planets that you go to, they are... Oh, four million! Oh my word! I can't even imagine having that much... All right, so this looks like, so this one is for Mars. This one is your basic one, and it's 10,000. Thankfully, I have enough to get that one. I have over 14,000. So, yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy this one for 10,000 coins. And now I will be able to take on small to medium-sized Choco Planet Rocks. So here we go. And then you take these, put them in your storage bag, and you take them back with you and you sell them. All right. And if you have played this game and you have some tutorials, let me know. Or if you have any tips that you would like to share, comment out. And I will definitely check your channel out and watch your videos because I'm wanting to learn from other players of this game as well. So please make yourself known. Also appreciate it if you give a like and subscribe as well if you're not already. Okay, so then after this, let's see where else we can go. Okay, look at that little chocolate nubs. That's so cute. Wow. So these, I don't know, what are these large size rocks? Because it sure has taken a lot of effort to kill this rock. There we go. Whoop. Am I not close enough to it? What's the problem here? Should be a, like a whole bunch of the... There we go. Alright. So there's that one. So definitely if you come to Chocolon, Chocoland, excuse me, make sure you have, you know, at least probably 15,000 coins or more. So that way you can definitely get the axe. Otherwise you're not going to serve any purpose because you definitely want to get these gems it's a part of getting more achievements and extra rewards. Lots of different rewards you can get in this game. Okay, so this is a larger rock. So probably with this one, unless you have a more expensive axe, because I didn't have enough coins to get those, try to take on these. I did get one this size. You are able. It just takes a lot more effort. Like this one is easier. Takes less, you know, hammering. But you can get the bigger ones. It just takes longer. That's all. No biggie. Uh, check out this Mr. Beast chocolate waterfall. Let's see what happens if I go in the waterfall of anything. If I go in the waterfall. Ooh, ooh. Is there a secret little place back here? Do I get anything special? No. No. I don't think so. Kind of cool though. Going through the chocolate waterfall. Woo woo. Okay, I'm going to return home and let's see what rewards I get. 
all the stuff, I'm not really sure just yet, all the stuff that I've been gaining, um, like, uh, for different levels that I've achieved, I can't seem to find those items, so if you know how to find those items, please let me know, I appreciate that. So, yeah, I'm going to teleport back to my bay and see if my ship is still there. And it is. Yay. That's cool. Yeah. So, anyways, I am now rank five. I'm a recruit. So, you go from, let's see noob to builder to um like what do you call it where you're you got a permit to drive but you're not yet licensed to drive and then you go from that oh like student driver and then licensed driver and now i'm a recruit so and i don't know how to find all the items like i did at one point you see in my other video i got the ufo item because there was like well over 4,000 remaining. Now there's zero because they've already been snatched up. But for whatever reason, when I claimed it, it wasn't letting me have it. I thought that I had got it. It said that I got it. But at any rate, I don't know how to find all the items that I have achieved in the game just yet. So if you know how, I appreciate you letting me know. Ooh, 20,000. All right. Cool. So... That should give me plenty enough to, when I get my next rank, to build, rebuild my ship and go to the next place. So, I hope you enjoy this game. And again, if you are somebody that plays this game and you do videos, shout yourself out. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.